Today I'm in the wood yard. I got a load of wood in my trailer and it needs stacking. So you know what that means? It's stacking time. Here we go. So yesterday I ran the processor and at the end of the day and I made a load of wood into the trailer as you can see. And uh, if you were here yesterday, which you should have been, you saw that I have my new wedge on. I got a 12 way from Easton made. I have a four, six, eight, and now they sent me a 12 way. And this is some really good stuff as far as the size that it was split to. I think there's gonna be no resplitting in here whatsoever, which is awesome because that was taking extra time. Um, I didn't have a lot of real big wood, which is good too, but uh, we'll look at the size of this as I'm stacking it so you'll get a good, good look at it. Here is the 12-way wedge that we put on uh, and used yesterday. So I'm just gonna come around over here so you can see it. There it is. It is a, a very nice wedge. I like the extra wings down there and the stuff is coming out much smaller now. So the size of it is, is uh, more appropriate for my customers. So there you go. There's the wedge and there's the wood. So we're going to head on back. I'm going to go get the trailer, or the tractor, going to hook up the trailer and we're going to take it. We're going to stack it over with the rest of where the maple is. So here we go. So the trailer is in place for stackage to happen. I got it about as close as I can get so I can still get around here. And I'm going to be taking the big chunks that aren't splittable and throwing them right into this pile right here. I threw these from the last one. That's all I had from the last load was just those few little pieces I didn't split because I left some of the bigger ones in here that were, you know, they could have been split, but they're, they're close enough and they will dry. So. This is uh, what I've been doing lately and it does work really good to just back the trailer right up here, stack the stacks and just kind of keep working my way that direction. Um, taking it out of the trailer is for sure the way to go, no question about it. Way faster than picking it up off the ground. Um, the, the fact that I can put it right into the trailer, I can put it where I want it to go, I can move it around the yard, I can fill in different areas is huge. The biggest benefit for me is not bending over as much. So I save a lot of energy there. It is faster quite a bit. I'd say it's, it's probably a third to maybe 50% faster. And another huge benefit is all the debris stays right in the trailer. So that is really nice. So here we go, stacking.
wood stacked. That didn't go as well as I wanted it to. So here's the ones that I tossed to the side that I did not stack. There was about five or six here from the last batch. I threw the kindling over off to the side and that's what's in the wheelbarrow, the stuff that's long enough. This is the disappointing part. Look at the debris. That's a lot of debris. So that's with the 12 way wedge. I'm sure there's still some good stuff in there. If I pick through, there's probably some, some kindling in there. And uh, you know, there might be one or two chunks in there I can pull out. I dug through it a little bit, but that's probably as much debris as I got with the eight way from two loads. Actually, I know what it is. That's about what I had from two loads that I did. So twice as much debris. And actually, I think there's more resplitting with this than there was with the eight way. So maybe the eight way is the way to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna split these and then start on their stack over here. You can see from those loads that I did, um, there's two full cords, cause right here is one full cord, there's a full cord and then this and then that. So there's, it's probably about three full cords uh, or so that I've gotten so far. That's what I would say, plus whatever's over here. So there. That stacked. Now I got to do some splitting right now. That's what's happening next.
The wood is stacked, the splitter is covered, and I have one last job to do today before I go home and have some supper. This right here is debris, and it needs to go somewhere. So I'm gonna uh, disconnect the tractor from the trailer, open the doors, go put the bucket on, and we're going to get rid of this debris. We gotta go dump it to crump it right now. That's what's gonna happen. I got the wheelbarrow here just in case there's some good stuff I can throw in there. So I backed up the trailer the way everybody told me that I should do by opening the doors like this, which is fine, I can get closer, but I'm still not close enough because right here is where the wood's gonna fall and I still got four feet up front. So backing in like this is not the way to go. If I had a 10 foot trailer, probably would work, but there's a 12 foot trailer and that's as close as I can get. So the thing to do is what I've been doing is I back in this way so that my front is like right about here. And then I pull ahead once or twice and then I can fill it just fine. Uh, it's nice to have it this way because it's more out of the way for coming through here with the tractor and everything. As you can see, this is more open, but, and I can go, do a straight shot out that way, which is nice and a, and a backing straight in, which was, would be really nice, but I can actually get it fuller, I think, by backing in this way. So I'm 90 degrees to the elevator instead of parallel underneath it, whatever, because I got all this space here. So there it is. It's ready for splitting or processing for the next time, which might be tomorrow. You should come back tomorrow, 5.30 a.m. I'll have another video for you. If you can't wait that long, go to my channel. There's over 750 videos waiting for you to watch right now. That is it. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.